Well, it's time for a Patreon poll. This week, I thought it'd be interesting to ask my followers on Patreon how many people they know who are anti-vax. I mean, we've heard a lot from anti-vax people, mostly conservatives. We've heard that uh, we, pro-vaccine people, view anti-vaxxers as pariahs, that we want to discriminate against them, and we're authoritarian. We're also big pharma shills and sheep. Uh, but none of that is true. The reason why I personally care about vaccines is one because i believe in science and data and facts and second of all i know people personally who are anti-vax who i care about who i want to get the vaccine because i want them to live that's what it comes down to so for the anti-vaccine people and the conservatives who think that we're trying to go out of our way to demonize anti-vax people no, you might feel that way because you're stubborn and reluctant to get the vaccine, but it comes from a place of love. And, you know, I would imagine that at least some of my viewers are as passionate as I am about this. Uh, and perhaps that's because they watch me, but I would argue it's because they too know people who are anti-vaccine. And that's what I wanted to gauge with this poll. So I asked people, how many people do you know in your immediate family and social circle that you'd characterize as being anti-vax, vaccine hesitant, and or vaccine skeptic? And as you can see here, most people know at least one person who is anti-vax. So seven people know 10 or more people. 10 people know 5 or more people, 13 people know 2 to 3 people, 9 people know 1 person who's anti-vax, and 5 people don't know any anti-vaxxers. This is a very small sample size, but nonetheless, it kind of confirms what I suspected. We care about this issue because we care about you. It's not that we want to discriminate against you, it's that we want you to protect yourself because we want you to be around. I know people who are very kind, who I've known my entire life, grew up with, and it pains me to know that they are at risk if they get COVID-19. And these are folks who I know who have underlying medical conditions. So, you know, it, it's frustrating to me that no matter how much evidence I present to them, they're still stubborn. They still won't take the vaccine. So I'm not against anti-vaxxers uh, anti and in favor of vaccine mandates because I want to punish them and discriminate against them. Anyone who thinks that is petulant and stupid. I'm against anti-vaxxers. I'm for vaccine mandates, unequivocally so because it's a pro-life position, period. Now, let's get to some comments here. Oscar Barroso says, I know at least one. They've mostly been tuning into news media that seems to be attacking the vaccine and downplaying the virus. Surprise, surprise. Same here. Mr. Anderson says, most of the ones I know trust their pasture more than they trust the entire scientific community. There's one who has been anti-vax since the Jenny McCarthy vaccines cause autism spectacle, and now she's walking around going, see, see, I told you all, even though there's still no proof to back up her claim. Jeez. Gabi Gita says Romania is one of the most vaccine hesitant countries due mostly to corrupt government, unmaintained hospitals, poverty, lack of education. A couple of months ago, we had the absolute worst vaccination rate in Europe, around 30%. Yikes. Inevitably, I know a lot of anti-vax people. Jacqueline Roberts says one guy, he caught the COVID about this time last year, still denies that COVID is any scarier than our yearly flu. Most people in my little town of Republicans agree with him. They stand out on the corners of our main intersection with signs jumping up and down and screaming against vaccine mandates and other things they're passionate about. I sure hate being stuck at a red light with them screaming all those germs into the intersection from all four directions. Windows firmly up. I haven't stopped wearing my mask in the stores either. So yeah, and I'll share my story. So someone I know, someone in my family was very, very anti-vax, never historically anti-vax, but because Republicans decided to make COVID a partisan issue, this family member was anti-vax and tried to discourage my mom from getting the COVID-19 vaccine. Thankfully, this person had a change of heart when they saw somebody in their family, one of their loved ones, get COVID-19 and a serious case of that. So after this, they got the vaccine. And that's great, right? Except the problem is that now they're against boosters and also subsequently tried to convince my mom to not get her booster because I think they went back to be an anti-vaxxer. And the person who got COVID, who influenced this person I know to get the vaccine, isn't getting the vaccine themselves. It's really, it's so frustrating to me. It's so frustrating to me. And the reason why I support vaccine mandates is because someone I know who's uh, vaccine hesitant got the vaccine because of the mandate. Without the mandate, they wouldn't have gotten the vaccine. But there's still others who aren't affected by the mandates who aren't getting vaccinated. And if anything happened to them, I would be devastated. I would be absolutely devastated. 
So I support vaccine mandates. I support vaccines because that is the pro-life position. You may not like it, but getting the vaccine by mandate, however you get it, that's going to help you. That may save your life. So, um, you know, whenever you see somebody make this point that pro-vaccine people are just really mean and they want to discriminate against anti-vaxxers, anti let them know, no, we care about you. We're not cold. We just want you to protect yourself and stop being fucking stupid. Even if you're dumb and stubborn, we don't want you to die because of your stupidity. We want you to protect yourself because we want you to be around for a long time. But I, I mean, at this point, we're so far in the pandemic that I've just kind of given up trying to convince people. Um, you know, there's only so much that you can do. And, you know, I've realized that people in my family, some of them, friends, they're just not going to get vaccinated no matter what, no matter what you tell them. So, you know, I've just tried to accept that and I'm crossing my fingers that nothing happens to them, crossing my fingers that they don't get COVID because again, some of these people that I know have pre-existing medical conditions and it would be very bad if they got COVID-19. So, you know, I'm trying to hope for the best, maybe, you know, convince them, but it, w what do you do? There's only so much that you can say. And once people have made up their mind, changing that isn't going to come down to facts or statistics. You know, they, they drunk the Kool-Aid, they're, they're part of a political cult and nothing will convince them. And it's frustrating to me, but at least I take comfort knowing that other people know anti-vaxxers and they're, they're dealing with the same shit.